I am not there every day. Something's gone awry. Hey, hey guys, we're on the oh, we're getting it. It's a Jennervention. Both Jennifer Lopez and Jennifer Gardner were spotted together at Ben Affleck's home. Now, with rumors of him and JLo getting divorced, here's all the details. Now, it appears that Jennifer Lopez recently joined Ben Affleck and Jennifer Gardner to support a family milestone. On Wednesday, June 12th, Lopez and Gardner were seen entering Ben's rental home in Brentwood, California, to attend a graduation party for Gardner and Ben's 12 year old son, Samuel. Now, earlier that day, Ben and JLo were spotted both wearing their wedding rings while they attended Samuel's graduation ceremony as they try to figure out their marriage issues. Now, this isn't the first time the two have attended a family event amid issues in their relationship. Now, earlier this month, JLo supported Samuel and went to his basketball game where she and Ben shared an awkward exchange for the cameras. Now, while Ben and JLo are experiencing marriage troubles in just under two years since they tied the knot, a source told People Garner wants the best for for her ex-husband. She wants him happy and healthy so he can be the best dad possible, said the insider. Now the source added that Gardner, who is dating chairman and CEO of Cali Group John Miller, likes that Lopez lives a healthy lifestyle and supports Ben's sobriety. Jen wants that for Ben, and it's good that Ben has a good support system. Now I mean both Jens just want what's best for him. Now Gardner is reportedly convinced that Lopez is a source of stability for Ben and their kids, and also really cares about the singer and wants them to remain happy and together. An insider told Daily Mail, Gardner has been through it with the same man herself, and although the circumstances were quite different, they both dealt with some of the same issues. Jen does not want Ben to pull the plug on this marriage because she really does care about JLo. Now the source further revealed that Gardner has visited Ben at his home several times to talk to him about this and to try and keep the two of them together. Now they also shared that Gardner and Lopez have developed a close relationship and that Garner regularly tells the singer that she is valued in their lives. They've also bonded because both Jens are reportedly worried about the possibility of Ben's relapsing into alcohol use amid the marriage troubles. Ben has been known for a pattern of relapse when he's handling marital issues. After his divorce to Garner, he had to go to rehab again to help him. Now, the biggest fear right now is that he will start drinking again, and part of the reason Jen has been keeping tabs on him is to make sure that doesn't happen, an insider told Daily Mail. Now, ben Ben's alcohol intake was a big part of the issues that ended his marriage to Garner after about 13 years together. Now on Father's Day, Ben was spotted out with Garner and JLo posted a tribute to him. Sharing a black and white photo of a young Ben via her Instagram story, our hero, she wrote, happy Father's Day. The sweet Instagram story follows weeks of reports about the state of her marriage to Ben. Now adding to speculation that the couple is on the rocks, Jen and Ben are selling their Beverly Hills mansion they purchased for a reported $60 million in 2023. Now a source told Us Weekly on June 10th that the house is being shown to prospective buyers despite not being publicly listed. In May, a source told Us Weekly that Ben had moved out of the mansion several weeks earlier amid speculation that the couple were heading for a split. Neither Ben nor JLo have publicly addressed the move, but even though they're not living together, they have been spending time together. Now you see, Jennifer was supposed to get ready for her tour she was going on this summer, but she recently just cancelled it. Representatives for Live Nation announced that the summer tour, This Is Me Live, was cancelled, saying in a statement, Jennifer is taking time off to be with her children, family, and close friends. Sources insisted that pulling the plug was not due to poor ticket sales, but rather for personal reasons and wanting to be with her kids. Now, could these personal reasons be her marriage? With her cancelling her shows, it lets the couple work on their marriage and it could become stronger, or will it make it fall apart even more? I guess we'll just have to wait and see, but things do not look good for the couple. From cancelled tours to spending time apart, to divorce rumors to selling their house, Jennifer Lopez and Ben Affleck have been going through it the last couple of months. So with that in mind, let's take a look at some of their embarrassing secrets that have been revealed. Now over the weekend, it was learned that the couple are selling their house. Multiple sources with direct knowledge told TMZ that JLo and Ben are using realtor Santiago Arana from the agency to sell the home they bought 
bought a little over a year ago. Now they bought the enormous Beverly Hills mansion for just over $60 million. Now they were on the hunt for a home for nearly two years, looking at more than 80 properties before settling on the mansion. It's been said that Arena has been showing the house for around two weeks, and they're asking for around $65 million for the house. With a broker's commission and a new tax on super expensive properties, along with significant money that they plunked down in improvements, this would mean that they would take a loss of millions of dollars. Now, the house being on the market isn't that shocking, as JLo was spotted solo house hunting. And then it was even revealed that Ben wasn't even living with her anymore. For the last couple of weeks, Ben has been staying at a Brentwood house by himself. Now, this already raised some eyebrows, but with their house now up for sale, I think it's safe to say that Benifer is over. But then again, Jennifer wore her wedding ring this past weekend when going out to dinner, and Ben has also been seen out with his wedding ring on. So, what does this mean? No one really knows. Now, Jennifer recently canceled her upcoming tour, This Is Me Live, in order to spend more time with her family and friends. Now, a lot of people saw this coming because of the rumors of her and Ben divorcing. It was made to seem like she did this to work on their marriage, but it appears she might be doing it to end their marriage. Now, the house is just the first thing that they need to figure out. You see, when they got married, they decided that they didn't need a prenup this time. Now, according to OK Magazine, the pair wedded in Las Vegas with tying up their assets. It could be a costly decision for JLo, who's worth considerably more than Ben. Now her current net worth is $400 million and Ben's is $150 million. But according to a source, Jen's love for Ben was so unconditional at the time that she didn't see a prenup as necessary. Now rumor has it this wasn't the case in the first phase of their relationship. When the pair first came together, a prenup was allegedly on the table, and it was claimed that the original prenup not only protected their assets, but protected the relationship from infidelity. The contract stated that the pair were able to keep both of their money, except if Ben cheated. If he stepped out, it would effectively nullify their prenup, putting his fortune at risk. But the two never made it to the altar, so the alleged prenup never had to take effect. But with them not having one now, it could prove to be a huge mistake. But there is still one person rooting for the couple, Ben's ex-wife, Jennifer Garner. Garner is reportedly convinced that Lopez is a source of stability for Ben and their kids, and also really cares about the singer and wants them to remain happy and together. An insider told the Daily Mail, Garner has been through it with the same man herself, and although the circumstances were quite different, they both dealt with some of the same issues. Jen does not want Ben to pull the plug on his marriage because she really does care about JLo. Now the source further revealed that Garner has visited Ben at his home several times to talk to him about this and to try to keep the two of them together. Now they also shared that Garner Garner and Lopez have developed a close relationship, and that Garner regularly tells the singer that she is valued in their lives. Now they've also bonded because both Jens are reportedly worried about the possibility of Ben relapsing into alcohol use amid the marriage troubles. Ben has been known for a pattern of relapse when he's handling marital issues, as after his divorce to Garner, he had to go to rehab again to help him. The biggest fear right now is that he will start drinking again, and part of the reason Jen has been keeping tabs on him is to make sure this doesn't happen, an insider told the Daily Mail. Now Ben's alcohol intake was a big part of his issues that ended his marriage to Garner after about 13 years together. So what will happen with JLo and Ben? I guess we'll just have to wait and see, but to be honest, it does not look good for the couple. I liked all the scenes with Anna because she was so much fun. <laughs> she was just so, so we, were, we had the chemistry. Okay. And you're ruining everything. Yeah. From living apart to not being seen in public together to not wearing their wedding bands, rumors of Benifer divorcing are strong. So with that in mind, here's our list of the five reasons Ben Affleck will divorce Jennifer Lopez very soon. Now starting off, we have their different lifestyles. As reported by Us Weekly, the tension between JLo and Ben started a few months back when they started to argue over finances. Reportedly, JLo was very much focused on her work, which left Ben a little disappointed. Jennifer had started ramping up her work commitments and prepping for her tour. She's very focused on work and overextends herself, a source cited. Now, the insider further revealed that Ben apparently doesn't agree with Jennifer's lifestyle and is feeling worn down by the marriage. It's also claimed that both have demanding careers that often require them to be in different cities. Now, this 
is said to be one of the primary reasons why there's tension between the pair. Now reportedly, they are now on two completely different pages most of the time, and the honeymoon phase has worn off. Over time, Jennifer and Ben found it increasingly difficult to communicate effectively, and small misunderstandings grew into significant arguments, another source said. If they're not communicating properly and can't find a way that works for them, it's probably not the best match like they thought it was. Next is she questions his sobriety. Now the pair have been caught fighting many times, but one of the first incidents that occurred was shortly after Jennifer's Today interview, with the couple filmed having what looked like a tense argument. In a clip that quickly went viral on TikTok, JLo appears to taste Ben's drink and she looks at him sternly. She seems visibly fed up with her husband as he tries to defend himself and repeatedly says Jen. He could also be seen yelling over the music that he did not drink anything. It was theorized at the time that Ben is insisting that he hasn't been drinking alcohol and that she was tasting his drink to check in the video. Now Ben has been open about his recovery from alcoholism and has been to rehab multiple times over the years, like in 2001, 2017, and 2018. Now that video has been viewed around 2 million times so far, but unsurprisingly, most people seem to think that Jennifer is being unsupportive of Ben's struggles. Now it just looks like she doesn't trust him, which is concerning. Now we have the fact that she wants another baby. While the couple have been facing rumors of relationship problems for months, JLo apparently has an idea how to save their marriage, a new report claims. Bye. Having a baby. Yep, you heard that right. Now, speaking to Life and Style, a source claims that it's been a topic for some time, with Jen wanting to seek the help of a surrogate for them to expand their family. She nagged him until he went along with it, a source explained. Ben was completely happy with the blended family they already have, but he loves kids, and that's why he agreed to having another. At the end of the day, he wants Jennifer to be happy, a source said. However, even though she's 54, it's apparently important for Jen to have a child with Ben now that their relationship got a second chance nearly 20 years later. Now the couple finally tied the knot in 2022 after rekindling their romance a year prior. Even though Jen may think a baby will bring her closer to Ben, the source seemed to imply that it's drawing a wedge between them, even if it's true they're moving ahead with plans for a surrogate. Yeah, a baby won't fix things, especially if both parents aren't 100% invested. On to him wanting privacy. Now Jen and Ben have been careful not to address the various speculations about their relationship, even though they offered fans an inside look at their marriage in Jennifer's documentary, released earlier this year. Now during the doc, Ben admitted to the cameras that he's never been as comfortable flaunting their romance publicly, but said he had to accept it was going to happen if he wanted to make things work with Jen. Getting back together, I said, listen, one of the things I don't want is a relationship on social media. Then I sort of realized it's not a fair thing to ask. It's sort of like you're gonna marry a boat captain and you go, well, I don't like the water. He added, we're just two people with different kinds of approaches trying to learn to compromise. Later in the film, Jen acknowledged that she's aware of Ben's discomfort, but didn't seem willing to do much to improve things for him. I don't think Ben is very comfortable with me doing all this, she said, but he loves me, he knows I'm an artist, and he's gonna support me in every way he can because he knows you can't stop me from making the music I made. He doesn't want to stop me. Now, it seems like Jen doesn't really want to change her ways, which I'm sure is a problem in their relationship. And finally, we have him coming to his senses. Now that is just a crazy thing to say, but it's what a source has revealed. Amid split rumors, Page Six has claimed that Ben is ready to call an end to the two-year marriage, going as far to claim the decision to tie the knot was down to temporary insanity. Now a source told the site that Ben has come to his senses after previously being so in love with Jennifer that he could not think straight. While he has been spotted spending quality alone time with JLo in recent days, he now feels his head is clear and he can move on. If there was a way to divorce on grounds of temporary insanity, he would, the page six source said. He feels like the last two years was just a fever dream and he's come to his senses now and understands there's no way this is going to work. Yikes, now that's just a crazy thing to say, but if that's really how he feels, I'm sure they'll break up soon enough. 
Jennifer Lopez and Ben Affleck were spotted out together amid divorce rumors, but their outing was just plain awkward and seemed to make things worse. Now, the couple, joined by Ben's mom, were supporting the actor's son Samuel at his basketball game. As the pair walked in, Jen leaned forward to give Ben a slightly forced looking kiss on the cheek. Now, Ben appeared to tense up and it didn't look like he enjoyed it at all. Now, did Jen think doing this would show everyone that they are still in love and have no marriage problems? If so, it backfired because many people are calling the interaction forced and awkward. Then Ben put his hand around JLo, but his hand never fully made contact with her lower back. It also seemed that he may have dodged a full on kiss on the lips based on the off kilter nature of the embrace. Now, as they walked up the steps of the venue, Ben stayed at least five feet apart from JLo, who ventured ahead. Ben then took a moment to speak with his mom, looking more at ease before waving his hand at photographers and then they all went inside. Ben and Jen's reunion comes after rumors of the couple having serious marital issues, while Ben is said to be living in a separate home. Now, JLo was actually spotted going out house hunting, even though the pair just bought a $60 million house together. Now, it was shocking to see them together because they have been noticeably apart from one another in public, including at public events like the Met Gala, where Jen was by herself. Now, this was shocking because Jen was a co-chair for the gala, but Ben was missing from the event. Now, Ben has been filming The Accountant 2, and it's said that he skipped the event because of his schedule, but the night before, he was spotted at Tom Brady's roast in LA. It appears, though, that they are showing a united front when it comes to their kids' events. A source told People on Friday that Ben and Jennifer still want to put the kids first, adding that the two have always been very family oriented. Now, it appears that the couple are working on things as Jennifer canceled her This Is Me live tour. Sources claim that the singer's decision is due to a sensitive time in her personal life per page six. Now, in a special message to her fans on Friday, she wrote, I am completely heartsick and devastated about letting you down. Please know I wouldn't do this if I didn't feel it was absolutely necessary. I promise I will make it up to you and we will all be together again. I love you so much. Until next time. This also comes after her comeback album, This Is Me Now, and her Amazon Prime movie that bombed critically and commercially. Jennifer is taking time off to be with her children, family, and close friends, a Live Nation rep said. So did she cancel the tour to work on her marriage? Maybe. But don't even think about asking Jen any questions about her relationship with Ben because she'll shut you down. During the Mexico press conference for her latest Netflix movie, Atlas, the star had a very clipped response when asked if she and her husband are headed for divorce. In a video posted to Instagram, a fan asked JLo in Spanish if the divorce rumors are true and then asked her to provide some insight into their situation. Now, she didn't take the bait though, leaning forward with a stern look at the person and saying, You know better than that before taking other questions about her work in the movie. Now, Ben did not even attend this with her as he was reportedly absent due to filming schedules on his own upcoming movie, The Accountant 2. Now, an insider told the US Sun that their inner circle saw the writing on the wall many months ago as Ben has been unhappy with their clashing schedules. Ben feels Jen needs to overhaul her career and have a better team behind her, the insider revealed. He has butted heads with some members for a while now and it's caused tension behind the scenes. He just wants what's best for her and feels like she's doing a lot of mediocre projects and is surrounded by yes people who are also sometimes making decisions for her. Now, it's said that they are currently in therapy and working through their problems, but Page Six recently claimed that Ben is ready to call an end to his two year marriage, going on to claim the decision to tie the knot was down to temporary insanity. If there was a way to divorce on the grounds of temporary insanity, he would, the source said. Yeah, that does not sound good at all, and it feels like like the couple have a lot to work on. Jennifer Lopez and Ben Affleck are the couple everyone is talking about because they're getting a divorce. That's right, Benifer is over again. And rumor is, things are getting messy and straight up nasty, so let's dive into the details. Now, in the last coming weeks, there have been many reports of Jen and Ben heading for divorce, but things appear to have only gotten worse. A report claims that Jennifer is moving on from Ben, as she was recently seen looking for a new house solo, she's not living with Ben currently, and the duo have been occasionally seen without their wedding rings. Now, according to a report, the pair's relationship has soured past the 
point of no return. The Hollywood power couple's wedding anniversary is around the corner, but they might not mark the special day, as a source claims that Lopez is already moving on from Affleck. Now, the source told In Touch the split is getting nasty. She isn't wasting any time moving on from Ben. She went to the Met Gala alone, she went out to dinner on Mother's Day without him, and now she's looking for a new home for herself after they had spent months searching for their dream home. And with a combined net worth of $550 million, the divorce is only going to get nastier, the source added. Now, according to OK Magazine, the pair wedded in Las Vegas without tying up their assets. It could be a costly decision for JLo, who's worth considerably more than Ben. Now, her current net worth is $400 million, and Ben's is $150 million. But according to a source, Jen's love for Ben was so unconditional at the time that she didn't see a prenup as necessary. Rumor has it that this wasn't the case in the first phase of their relationship. When the pair first came together, a prenup was allegedly on the table. It was claimed that their original prenup not only protected their assets, but protected their relationship from infidelity. The contract stated that the pair were able to keep both of their money, except if Ben cheated. If he stepped out, it would effectively nullify their prenup, putting his fortune at risk. But the two never made it to the altar, so the alleged prenup never had to take effect. But with them not having one now, it could prove to be a huge mistake. Now, people raised their eyebrows at the couple when it was revealed that they did not spend Mother's Day together. Now, they also weren't pictured together for over seven weeks and eventually reunited to attend the actor's child, Finn's school play. But while their marriage is falling apart, it's said that there's one person who's trying to save it, Ben's ex-wife, Jennifer Garner. Garner is reportedly convinced that Lopez is a source of stability for Ben and their kids and also really cares about the singer and wants them to remain happy and together. An insider told the Daily Mail, Garner has been through it with the same man herself, and although the circumstances were quite different, they both dealt with some of the same issues. Jen does not want Ben to pull the plug on this marriage because she really does care about JLo. Now, the source further revealed that Garner had visited Ben at his home several times to talk to him about this and try to keep the two of them together. Now, they also shared that Garner and Lopez have developed a close relationship and that Garner regularly tells the singer that she is valued in their lives. They've also bonded because both Jens are reportedly worried about the possibility of Ben relapsing into alcohol use amid the marriage troubles. Ben has been known for a pattern of relapse when he's handling marital issues. After his divorce to Garner, he had to go to rehab again to help him. The biggest fear right now is that he will start drinking again, and part of the reason Jen has been keeping tabs on him is to make sure it doesn't happen again, an insider told Daily Mail. Ben's alcohol intake was a big part of the issue that ended his marriage to Garner after about 13 years together. Now, during an interview with the New York Times in 2020, Ben opened up about their marriage and his alcoholism. He said, I drank relatively normally for a long time. What happened was I started drinking more and more when my marriage was falling apart. That was 2015, 2016. My drinking, of course, created more marital problems. Now, Ben briefly relapsed in 2019, but has been on track since then. With having marriage issues again, though, there is a possibility that he might relapse again. Jennifer Lopez has finally spoken about her rumored divorce from Ben Affleck, so let's dive into this drama. Now, during the Mexico press conference for her latest Netflix movie, Atlas, the star had a very clipped response when asked if she and her husband are headed for divorce. In a video posted to Instagram, a fan asked JLo in Spanish if the divorce rumors are true and asked her to provide some insight into their situation. JLo didn't take the bait though, leaning forward with a stern look at the person and saying, you know better than that, before taking other questions about her work in the movie. Now, Ben did not attend this with her, as he was reportedly absent due to filming schedules on his own upcoming movie, The Accountant 2. A People source revealed on May 22nd that their marriage is not in the best place at the moment due to their differing approaches to media attention. Jen is living in their $60 million Beverly Hills home amid the relationship conflict, while Ben is renting a property a few miles away. Now, Jen was seen house hunting last week, but with rumors of a divorce, is she looking for a new house for herself? Now, Jen and Ben actually bought a massive estate just last year, but it appears that they might be selling it soon. Now, it's very interesting that JLo refused to answer the fans' question because last week she added to these rumors as she liked a post that raised some eyebrows. Now, the post in question reads, you cannot build a healthy relationship with somebody who, among other things, last 
lacks integrity and emotional safety, doesn't respect your time, doesn't think it's important to call text back in a respectable time frame, lacks effective communication skills, and doesn't know who they are or what they want. Now, is she like this in relation to Ben? That's not the best thing, and I understand why they'd be going through marital troubles. The post came amid an Us Weekly source confirming that while Jen and Ben are working on things, they're having issues in their marriage. Now, the insider added that the issues began a few months ago as Jen had started ramping up work commitments and prepping for her tour. Jen is very focused on work, they're on two completely different pages most of the time, they said. Now, reports of Benifer's potential split were first reported by Tabloid In Touch, who spoke to an anonymous source who claimed that the writing is on the wall, it's over, they're headed for a divorce, and for once, Ben is not to blame. Now, according to In Touch, the pair are also in couples therapy. Ben believes in therapy to a point and is willing to be a good sport about participating with an open mind, even though he hates the whole humiliating process, the insider told the outlet. He's never going to gauge the success of his marriage by what happens in the therapist's office, and he also has a higher tolerance for conflict and having to fight to get his way than the average guy, they said. She, aka JLo, likes to open her heart to her fans and to the world, a source told the outlet, and he, Ben, is more introspective and private. This has been difficult day to day. Now, the new claim is supported by previous sources reporting from People, which noted that Ben doesn't enjoy the spotlight as much as Jen does. They have very different approaches when it comes to media attention. Ben hates all the attention and it makes him very uncomfortable. Jennifer has always had a different approach. Jennifer has always had a different approach, a source told the outlet. Now, fans saw this play out during JLo's documentary as she exposed their private love letters to her producers and songwriters. Ben gifted Jennifer a scrapbook for Christmas in 2021, stacked with every letter and email they'd written each other over the last 20 years. Jennifer showed the book to her producers and songwriters on the first day of making her new album without asking or telling Ben. Now, Ben wasn't much of a fan with this either. Ben expressed hesitancy with how transparent JLo is about their relationship in her work. I did really find the beauty and the poetry and the irony and the fact that it's the greatest love story never told, he told the cameras. And if you're making a record about it, that seems kind of like telling it.